Imagine your team's command center with everything you need to run your business, product, or service. Aura is an easy-to-use all-in-one solution for everything from to-dos timelines, timers, and resource allocation to agile methodologies like Kanban and Scrum. Just because Aura can do all that for you doesn't mean you need to learn all of this right now. In fact, one of the strengths of Aura is that you can keep it simple. Don't worry about all these features because we'll guide you through it. At the core of Aura is the project. You can create a project for everything and customize it to suit your needs or just use one of the predefined templates. Let's jump straight to it and create a project for a fictional company website. A project is nothing more than a collection of lists. And lists are where you put cards or tasks. We will add three lists here for the three phases of our project. To do, in progress and done. We'll start by adding some task. Make sure you've added your team before that so that you can assign one of them while you create the tasks. You can also add labels, dates, and schedules. At this point, you can jump to the timeline and see this task we just created. The timeline is a great way to plan long-term, and it can show multiple projects at once. Back to the project, this project configuration is what we call the pipeline workflow. All you need to do to finish this project is to move tasks to the right. The task is changing its state because the list is of type closed. Other task states available are frozen, open and review. Those types are used for reports and filters across the app. You can choose between pipeline workflow on and off. Or whether the states of the tasks depend on the list or on the task itself. For example, if you wish to have mixed task states in the same list, you need to disable the pipeline workflow. To customize any part of the project, you need to go in Project Settings, which can be entered from three dots button in the top left corner, then choose Project Settings. To turn any features on and off, go to Add-ons. I'll disable the pipeline workflow, checkbox on cards, and visible task ids because I don't need them. To go back to the project, click on the X icon in the top right corner. Another thing I like to do is to personalize all my projects by selecting a background for them. Or changing the colors of some of the lists. Perfect. If you are working on just one project, you are one of the lucky ones, most people need to juggle between a dozen projects, nothing to worry about because this is where Aura shines in comparison with other tools. To switch to another project super fast, open the project sidebar. Alternatively, you can click on the projects icon to go to the projects section. This is also where you can create folders for your projects. If you need to see tasks from multiple projects at the same time or just today's tasks, jump to the agenda. In here, you can choose active projects, members of your teams, and task states to see. Then all without any deadlines or schedule will go into your inbox. And ones who are scheduled will go into the appropriate view from the once under inbox. If you like to change to those filters quickly in the future, you can save them. These are the basics of Aura. I hope you have a productive day, and if you need any help with anything, don't hesitate to contact us or look through our help section by clicking on the Get Help Contact Support button.